Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In yesterday's video, we talked about the market getting crazy this week, and crazy is exactly what we started off this week with, with the huge market crash and also rebound from the big time and the first ever, the inaugural Foot Heroes Upgrade SBC in this game, right? We wondered if a Foot Heroes SBC or an Icon Upgrade SBC was gonna come, and yesterday in the game, they dropped the Foot Heroes SBC, and that caused a lot of panic selling on the market. But there were some characteristics about this Foot Hero SBC that also caused the same market crash, but also caused a rebound as well. And I wanna talk about how this crazy SBC, the Foot Hero upgrade, impacted the market yesterday on this game and what you can expect to see on the market today kind of as i guess an aftershock of that sbc what's going to be happening on the market because that sbc is still out for a lot of people we had upgrade packs that were released yesterday so people are grinding some 78 plus upgrades as well so i want to talk about how that is going to configure into the market and how you can make coins from an sbc like this in the future because we're gonna have SBCs like this come out in this game in the future that are just a one-time upgrade, whether it's a party bag, whether it is a icon SBC, a foot hero upgrade. We're gonna have multiple SBCs like this throughout the course of the rest of this year. And I wanna teach you guys how you can make coins on these types of SBCs when they drop. So of course, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. But let's get into it. So that SBC was released yesterday and Holy moly, we saw SBC fodder actually go up. Yes, I can't believe it. SBC fodder has gone up. The EA Sports has released an SBC that has made 84s go higher than 2,000 coins apiece. 84s, 85s, 86s. Actually, some of your 86 rated cards on this game are almost extinct at the moment. Take a look at Jamie Vardy. He is literally at max price. EA Sports, you need to upgrade the price ranges on these 86 rated cards because they are literally at max. 85s are like 6K a piece. Of course, they were like 4,000 coins. Now, they've been rising a little bit recently, but these cards really exploded in price today because this SBC has insane demand. Why were people going after this SBC today? It's because of the gamble nature of it, right? We talked about this in the beginning of the year. If you guys played FIFA last year, you know that these gamble SBCs, people absolutely love them. 180,000 coins to potentially pack a card like Ginola or Cordoba or Joe Cole, Robbie Keane, Abedi Pele, right? Di Natale, those are the cards that everybody thinks they're gonna pack in this SBC. But I can tell you from firsthand experience, Getting Al Jaber definitely is not the same as getting Ginola. That's who I packed after crafting the SBC today on my account. Now, in, in all honesty, this SBC is not that great of value. At 181,000 coins, it's an expensive gamble. But since it was the first one ever and since these foot heroes are brand new to the game and people want to get them in their squad because they're, they're still pretty new and fresh in this game... A lot of people went out and did this SBC. You can see it's got a 53% approval rating. I think that it is a bit expensive for being good value, right? 181,000 coins. I believe there's only like six hero cards that are above 180K in this team at the moment. So it's definitely priced a bit too much. But of course, you got some untradeables in the club. You do some 78 plus packs. You can kind of craft this SBC for a little bit cheaper than uh, what you normally would just be spent spending for it off of the market. So again, I don't think this SBC is really good value unless you have a lot of coins or you're gonna craft it over the next couple of days and you're fine getting somebody like an Ocampos, like a Al Jaber, like Dudek or Cahill or Dempsey in this pack that's probably not gonna have that much of a use to you. Uh, if you're willing to gamble, then that's, the, that's your, I guess, you're okay with it and you can go for it. But again, it did make SBC fodder go up like crazy yesterday. Now, if you're somebody that has this fodder, if you have 86s, man, it's kind of it's kind of putting you in a tough spot because yes, this stuff is up a lot and some of it is basically at its max price. 12K for Busquets, he literally can't go any higher. In my opinion, I'm taking the cash on some of this stuff. I really am. Now, of course, you could say, Nate, these... Uh, hero upgrade packs were added to the code at the exact same time as the icon upgrade pack was. Does that mean we're getting a base icon upgrade pack soon? It could, right? We don't know, right? Since this was added to the code, it can come out at any time. So with this hero upgrade pack coming out, 
Could it lean towards potentially an icon upgrade pack coming out next week on Monday? That's my best guess at what could be happening. I think there's a potential for next Monday instead of a hero upgrade pack because this, I believe, the SBC for the hero pack expires. Um, it's one week. It's out for one week. Yeah, six days remaining. So this foot hero upgrade is going to expire next Monday. That is when we could see the base icon upgrade released into the game. Not again, it could be later on this week. That's not guaranteed, but that would be my best guess of when this icon upgrade would be released would be next Monday uh, during Rule Breakers team number two. So just kind of keep that in mind. But of course, we're going to have a lot more supply even today on the market. That is why I recommend taking the coins on some of these uh, these fodder cards that we look at the index 85 going from 99 points all the way to 126. Some of the 86s again that are extinct. Even some of your really high rated fodder like um, 87s, 88s, 89s. These guys have gone up because you have an 86 rated squad as a part of that hero SBC. I would be taking the cash on those. I really would. I don't think there's going to be more SBCs this week that would make that fodder go exponentially higher. And I think that you're just going to see more and more people that have had these fodder cards in their club kind of sell them off. We're going to have supply today on Tuesday with UEFA marquee matchups, regular marquee matchups on Thursday, another promo this Friday. I don't think there's many rule breaker SBCs that will be still coming out. So in my opinion, it is a great sell time, right? This is your first and greatest fodder flip of the year, if you will. You bought, if some of you guys have been holding on to 82s, or sorry, not 82s, 84s that you bought at like 1.2K, like I remember you guys buying Andre Silva's like 1.2K and you've been chilling on them uh, and, and now they're exploding to 3K, 2.5 to 3K a piece on some of these 84s. So that is a GG if you want to cash out, especially on the 86s that are basically extinct. Those will go higher later on in this game. But I think for right now, again, with the supply, the way that it is, you've seen that fodder go up. I would take that cash and then maybe look to get back in this weekend on you know Friday, Saturday timeframe when we have a big amount of supply coming on to this market. So that's the fodder range. And that's how fodder was affected by these foot hero, by this foot hero upgrade SBC. What about the rest of the market? Because of course, this SBC caused a lot of panic selling and it did cause the market to crash because people sold cards from their team to go out and do this SBC. First things first, we got to take a look at some of these hero prices because the, one of the first things that people sold off right away today when this SBC was released was heroes. Now, I picked up a Michael Keane, not a Michael Keane, a Robbie Keane at um, 402,000 coins in this panic. Take a look at this. He was 500K this morning. The drops were so quick and so fast. This Keen card was within dropping from 500,000 coins all the way down to 400,000 coins within five minutes. Five minutes of the content drop, this guy dropped 100K, and I knew that people doing this SBC, this is something that you just kind of learn from being on FIFA for a long time. You know that these kind of upgrade packs, a party bag SBC, a one-time and non-repeatable, that's the key here. We're going to talk about this a little bit more, but the reason why the market rebounded after the panic or some of the market rebounded was because this is non-repeatable, right? People can't keep doing it and continue to sink their coins. It's only a one time you do it and you're done SBC. So these cards got panic sold right away. And that's one of the first things that always gets panic sold when there's this type of upgrade pack that is a gamble pack um released on this game so this card went from 500k down to 400,000 coins i picked one up there and he's rebounded back up to 479,000 coins why did this card why did a betty pele morientes ginola cordoba was one of the best ones to flip on the day he went from you know 470k down to about 420 410 was his lowest and he went back up even higher than he was earlier in the daytime right a crazy rebound on this on this Cordoba card, why does that happen? Well, of course, people panic sell these because they think that they're getting supplied and they're getting packed out of this SBC. They see a Foot Heroes upgrade pack, they go panic sell the card that is in their team, and that drives the price down incredibly, right? They're worried about that price crashing. But what happens is everybody or most people that are doing this SBC are getting the likes of Cahill, Dempsey, Ricken you know, Milito, Al Jaber, like I got, they're not, there are way less people packing Di Natale, Cordoba, Ginola, Abedi Pele, and those higher tier cards that we just looked at. And the re the, the, the way and the why you see this market move the way you see that it did is because people panic sell the card, they think they're going to pack, 
and then they realize, oh shoot, I'm not going to pack this card or this pack weight on this pack is not as good as it seems, then they do the SBC themselves. They don't get their card that they had on their team, so they have to go back and buy that card again for their team. So that is why you see these cards get painted so like this. And that is the same story for the rest of the market. That is why you saw some of these rule breaker cards today absolutely get destroyed. Number one most popular card I'm flipping right now is this Diaby, who is extinct at 140K. And I've been telling you guys throughout this weekend, sell this card because number one, he's not even worth 140K. Without this SBC being released yesterday, I don't even believe he would have been 140K worth it when his price range updated then. But take a look at this extinct at 140. He went all the way down to 90,000 coins in the panic sale in the first five to 10 minutes, rebounded back to about 115 and is now 101,000 coins, right? There are a lot of cards that didn't recover like the heroes did. Again, we look at Robbie Keane. He was 500, went down to 400, and now is back up to 470, almost like 75% of where his original price was. There's a lot of gold cards today that didn't fare as well because people panic sold a ton of these. Look at Hyunmin's son. Look at Jimin's son. He was 180,000 coins, 185, dropped all the way down. He was in the 130s. He was in the 130K range in that first 15, 20 minutes after this SBC was released. He has now rebounded back to 160. So that is the market movement that I want you guys to learn and to be able to watch for going forward when we have big time SBCs like this. When you see panic selling on the market, there wasn't any tradable supply today either that you really had to worry about. There was like 25K packs in the store, but promo packs from Monday to Wednesday are just not that hype, right? So we didn't have any supply coming to the market. All we had today was pure panic selling. We had pure panic selling from people that were selling their teams and selling cards to go out and do this SBC. This Rafael Varan was 190K. Gold Varan went from 240K down to 190 and is now back up to 230. I mean, that is an incredible rebound in such a short time period. And again, the reason that happens is because people think they're going to get something insane and the hype is all about that new SBC. So they sell cards to go and afford it. And then they're like, wow, the card that I got really isn't something that's going to change my whole entire team. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that worth it. So they go and they buy the cards right back that they sold, you know, a couple hours prior. And that is why you see this crash and then a rebound on some of the market. Now, some of the market hasn't rebounded to where it was before this SBC was released, right? Again, this Varan was 240K, went down to 190. He's only back to 220. There were a lot of coins taken off the market today because people were losing about 100 to 180K every time somebody was doing that Foot Heroes upgrade pack. If you think about it, right? That's 180K SBC and all those coins are coming off of the market because they're turning in tradable cards or they're, they sold a card to get coins to then buy an SBC fodder card to put into that SBC, which they exchange for a tradable item. So yesterday, a lot of coins were drained off of this game, but there were still enough coins to see a market rebound. And that's again, that non-repeatable nature of that SBC. When it is repeatable, then you see a longer crash and a slower rebound because people can do it multiple times and it drains even an exponentially more amount of coins off this market than a non-repeatable SBC does. So that SBC today is a perfect picture of what's gonna happen so many times later on throughout the rest of this year. And we're gonna continue to talk about it as well as we see this happen, you know, with what we call the party bag SBCs or the gamble SBCs, where it's like an upgrade pack to, you know, they'll release these later on in the year, a party bag with like road to the knockouts, maybe a rule breakers player, you know, as we get more and more promos, they'll kind of combine those or even like a guaranteed, if we were to have a guaranteed rule breakers SBC, uh, after this first week and in the second week of rule breakers, this would probably cause that SBC would probably cause a similar sort of panic to what this foot hero upgrade did today. So again, when you see an SBC like that, let's go over a few types of things you want to look out for on the market. You want to look for big chunk percentage drops and you want to focus on meta cards, right? You can either focus on the cards that are actually in the pack that are getting panic sold. Like again, the heroes today had incredible uh, drops. 
and then rebounds because a lot of people still you know got hyped about heroes today right especially if we have a party bag SBC lug or a guaranteed rule breakers that will come out next week you would probably see a ton of panic selling on a guy like Holland Rudiger Trent Alexander Arnold but then you'd also see those guys bounce back because people buy them back for their team after panic selling so you can focus on the cards that are actually in the pack that are the high tier, more rare ones, more expensive ones that aren't gonna get packed as much. Those will get panic sold and rebound. You can also just focus on, you know, other meta and popular cards on the market. Take a look at Sadio Mane, 230,000 coins to start the day yesterday. He was down, he was actually 190,000 coins. He has rebounded back to about 215, where he is right now on the market, right? Again, you see a lot of these meta cards, higher rated, popular. Again, we, we stress those things all the time in this game, but that's the stuff that rebounded and did well today. Even some of the rule breakers, like these guys were panic sold as well. Trent Alexander-Arnold, 215,000 coins at the moment, was uh, 2.15 in the morning, went down. He was actually 180, 180, 185, and rebounded back to 217,000 coins. So that was the story yesterday. Huge market crash, huge panic, and then a rebound because the SBC was non-repeatable. People sold cards to go and do it, and then they realized, wow, the card that I got back was not that good. So they went back and bought stuff up. So there was incredible opportunities to make coins yesterday uh, on this game, which I was able to do a pretty solid job with that. We bought a Robbie Keane at 400, sold too early. I, I focused on buying a decent amount of road to the knockout players, and those are seeming to rise a little bit slower. Uh, so again, what I would really focus on is when you're buying panic selling, when an SBC like this drops, I would focus on the cards that are either in that SBC that are getting packed on the high tier, packed and panic sold at the same time, and then also just meta gold because that is going to be the stuff that rebounds the quickest and the fastest for your most efficient return on your investment and return on your trade. Now, I bought Sane for 403,000 coins, I believe was the price that I paid for this earlier today. And at the moment, Leroy Sané is 430,000 coins. So he is rising back up. But the reason I bought Renan Lodi, Mookie LA, Arnold, Sané, and Fred, actually, Fred already sold. He rebounded quickly. The reason I bought these guys is because we have Champions League today and tomorrow. And that's what I want to focus on and start talking about next is what's going to happen with this market today on Tuesday as we head out of this madness that happened on the game yesterday. We're going to have some supply on the game today. So just as we saw drops on the market yesterday, we're going to see more drops again, but different for different reasons. We're going to see supply, right? And we've been talking about this for the past two days. We are going to see supply on the rule breakers cards, the gold cards that are in packs and team of the week six. Now, I talked about last night not investing in team of the week unless it was for a short flip. Now you can see some of these cards have gone up a little bit. This Up Makano, 78,000 coins at the moment. So rewards on Monday, I bought these at 72K right around here. I sold them at 79,000 coins before the content drop. And he's kind of chilling around that like 75 to 77 range for the rest of the of today. If you want to buy a team of the week six card for an out of packs investment, Salah, uh, Atal. I know a lot of people are interested in Atal, Up Makano, Alaba. Those are the main ones, maybe a Smith Rowe. Or if you want to just club stock any of these discard informs. I even did Gulashi go up today? Because Gulashi is kind of like a fodder inform. I think he did go up today uh, because there was some inform requirements in the SBCs. Yeah, he went from 14,000 coins all the way up to about 18, 19K where he is now. Again, because that hero upgrade pack required two informs in the requirements, um, I would look to buy a team of the week six for an out of packs investment or um, a gold card today with the supply that we're going to get. I think that you will have opportunities to trade more of an investment with Team of the Week 6, but also a trade for cards that are in packs. Rule breakers, gold cards, you're going to see dips on everything that is in packs today. You're going to see that get supplied on this market again, right? So guys like Trent, guys like Rudiger, these cards on Yekka that bounce around a lot on the market because they're in demand, even Holland and Dembele. These are the cards that I would be looking out for today when we get the UEFA marquee matchups for a decent amount of supply. Just basically... What, what you saw yesterday is probably going to happen again today on Tuesday. Rudiger went 330 down to 314, now back up to 340. You're probably going to see some similar movements to that on the market for everything that is in packs that is meta today on Tuesday. So definitely watch out for that. Now, again, 
with that supply coming, is that going to hurt the heroes as well? Yeah, heroes get supplied a little bit on days when there's like a, an actual SBC that is released that brings some supply to the market. I don't think they would get supplied that much. Um, but what this basically did today was it put more focus and more attention on hero cards as well, if you think about it, right? Some of these hero cards were actually down, and, th and that's the reason Cordoba, in my opinion, was uh, why he rose up higher today than what he was before 6 p.m. because people were worried about this hero upgrade SBC, and that's why you had seen some heroes dropping off in price the few days before this was released, since that code was released, right? And that's why Cordoba was like 480K. Now the SBC came out. People that wanted to buy this card now know that SBC is gone and it's, it's you know, the panic has come and then it has subsided. So they bought this card back and that's why he went back up higher than what his price initially was. Same thing with Ginola. He went a bit higher than what he was before the SBC and, and also Di Natale. I didn't even recognize this, but Di Natale was low 900s and Di Natale is now back up at 960,000 coins um, after going down all the way almost to 800K. Uh, in the panic selling yesterday. Seriously, crazy profits when there's SBCs released like this. If you time it right and pick the, the right cards, you can have some insane, insane flips on this market and on this game. I, I definitely could have done a little bit better yesterday. I went more the UCL route and I could have had a faster and I'm still gonna make a decent amount of coins on these cards and these informed vinnies that I bought at 240K. They're kind of starting to sell a few by few here at 270. Um, I could have made more coins though today if I would have went with a card like Gold Sun, Gold Varan, Gold Mane, right? So just kind of learning when we have movements like this. That was the first big time gamble SBC that we have had this year on this game, right? That was the first big time um, gamble SBC in terms of a party bag, in terms of a upgrade pack that was for a set of cards that are in packs in this game, like promo cards, if you will, or heroes, obviously, as it was. So now we know how this market reacts best on days like that, and that is going to prepare us big time going forward. So again, I think we can learn a ton from yesterday. I think we're going to see more market movements today. I'm really not expecting that much content expect for or except for that UEFA marquee matchups, which is going to bring some pack supply, probably drop SPC fodder a little bit, um, and then drop the rest of the market that impacts part of the market as well. The 78 upgrade pack that was released yesterday these are just average i did a lot of them yesterday crafting the foot heroes upgrade i packed like a decent amount of boards and you know one walk out of lukaku but just not not a ton of great pack pulls from that sbc it's not something you can consistently grind and expect to get really good pulls from so again a crazy day yesterday with the market crash of the foot heroes upgrade pack sbc and the rebound from it again i really wanted to do a deep dive on what happened yesterday and talk about that with you guys so that going forward, you can kind of know and you can kind of learn what to do in scenarios like that. But probably more prices dropping, especially on the impacts market today with supply coming with the way for marquee matchups. And other than that, I wouldn't expect that much other content today on Tuesday in this game. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.